Alright, everybody, my name is uh, John Carlisle. And I'm a cadet in the United States Army Reserves. Today, August 15th, is my 22nd birthday, and I'm here on Fort Dix, New Jersey. And you can hear the sound of gunfire. What that is, is my unit, the uh, 4th, 3rd, 7th, 1st Battalion, is qualifying on the M4 uh, carving. Their weapons are pretty, uh, yeah. You have to uh, forgive me, this is my first video log, so uh, I've never done this before. Um, so, right now, I'm just kind of relaxing and I'm experimenting, rather, with uh, this whole thing. Um, if it looks like I'm sweaty, I actually am. It's really hot right now. Um, you know, four decks. Woohoo. I swear to God, every single military base looks the same. It's like, you know, the same sand, the same trees, the same woodpeckers that you have to be careful of. It's all pretty crazy. But yeah, right now my unit is qualifying because they are going to Afghanistan. I'm not. I'm a cadet. See? Look at my pretty dot. Woo. Dot. That dot is a shield that keeps me from being put on deployment, which, you know, I'm both kind of happy and kind of sad for, um, you know, it's just these guys are my brothers and my sisters, and they're going, and I'm not, and there's nothing that I can really do about that, so, what the hell, I'll survive, I'll deal with it, it there's nothing, I, I could have gotten out of the RTC program, but I really didn't want to, you know, you, you drop out, you go to Afghanistan, you come back, you don't even know if you'll be able to go to college again. It's just so, you know, fuck it. Sorry, screw it. I'm gonna have to try and bleep that out or something. But, um, yeah. Get my college degree, become a second lieutenant, and deploy with the unit, hopefully, then. Um, yeah, not much is happening right now. They're qualifying. I'm part of the white cell, which means that I bring them, like, food and water and other stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, my day today started at 0500 in the morning, you know, 5 a.m., woo. And I've been awake since then, time is now, 1435. So, yeah, it's, it's been a long day. And uh, what today is is also the night qualification, which means my unit is going to be shooting after nightfall. So, honestly, I'm not expecting to get back home until around, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. So, it's, it's just going to be a really, really long day. And it's just part of being a soldier, you know? Um, in other news, uh, besides being my birthday right now, which means, like, no cake because, you know, the cake is a lie. So, I don't get any birthday cake. I was lucky to uh, get the chance to go to uh, to hot chow today instead of eating an MRE. Though I'm going to be getting an MRE for dinner. So, you know, great. I'm stuck on a range, can't even shoot any guns or rifles or anything. And here's support staff, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, honestly, I'm sad that I'm not going. I really am. But I'm happy to because I've got a wonderful fiance that I won't be leaving now. My family won't have to be worried about me because Afghanistan is dangerous and I might die if I go overseas. But so, yeah, I don't get to shoot or anything. I'm just sitting around here all day long. It's hot, it's muggy, it's been raining for the past two days, and now the sun's out, so, like, all that moisture is now in the atmosphere, so I'm sweating like a dog, even though dogs don't sweat. Huh. Nah, there's some strange, uh, sayings out there. You, right now you can hear the, uh, the range control officer. And the gunfire.
What this is, is a pop-up target range, which means, uh, you know, a target pops up, you engage it, you shoot it, it drops. Next target comes up and you shoot that, so that's why you're getting the volley fire and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, me, 22 years old today. My loader butler right now is in Fort Benning, Georgia. He's going to be 11 Charlie or uh, indirect fire weapon systems infantry. So not quite 11 Bravo, but you know, it's, it'll be a good branch for him. You know, I have high hopes for him. I hope that he does basic training just fine. I mean, right now he's a private first class, which is as high as I ever got. And that was when, you know, I enlisted E1 or basic private, and then I got all the way up to private first class before I went ROTC. But, um, so, yeah, that's just, that's just the basics right now. Fort Dix, New Jersey, today's my birthday. I'm going to be spending my entire birthday here but I really wouldn't change it for anything in the world. I'm going to be missing two day the first two days of college, actually, because I'm going to be here in Fort Dix until the end of August. So, um, yeah. Right now I'm at, uh, six minutes and 30 seconds. I think that, for the most part, I'm going to be... Be wary, wary, quiet. We're hunting rabbits. Yeah, just one of my fellow soldiers just walked by the van and is probably wondering why he's, he he's hearing a disembodied voice. Tinted windows. They can't see out of them. So, yeah, and that. Yeah, that. Elmer Fudd. I can do voices. Uh, I'm, I supposedly do a really good golem, which I might do later on for, uh, in a later vlog. Um... But, yeah, I can do a bunch of accents, like Irish, German, Scottish, kind of French, English, depends on the mood I'm in, Russian, Indian, sometimes Arabic, but, yeah. So I think I'll be doing an Irish accent right now. Let's see, it's a bloody hot day out. Um, my unit, the 4th or 7th, the 1st Battalion, is uh, shooting rifles today, and I'm driving a 15-passenger van. Uh... Which is a lot different than driving my lorry back home, uh, lorry being truck, of course, uh, for you Americans. Uh, it's a Ford Ranger. And I fucking love that sound. And I'm gonna have to beep out that one too. Holy shit. M Raps. Alright, so, yeah, um, don't want this to last too long, so I think I'm going to stop the vlog here to the sound of beautiful, beautiful gunfire, and God bless the United States, and go Army Navy.